Here's a question for you. Have you tried to get cleaning products at the store with no luck? <laughs> yep. Yeah, the spread yeah. of coronavirus could be making it a bit harder for you to clean the spaces because everything's sold out. Uh, the Queen of Clean showing us how to correctly disinfect and has some tips on making your own cleaning products at home. Queenie, I hope you're not going to tell me to use up all the vodka because you know in a time like this, <laughs> need I need to hold on to that for emergencies. <laughs> Do you know that 80 proof vodka only has 40% alcohol in it and would not kill the coronavirus? So go ahead and drink all you want. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You know, I think I lost you. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And I want to talk to you first about not overestimating or underestimating what soap and water can do. If you go to the store and they're out of hand soap that is in the squirt bottle, remember, there's other soap out there. Even Zoat soap that you find in the laundry aisle is an oil-based soap, and it's fine for your hands. Castile soap, a great alternative. Any bath soap you can use. Even dishwashing liquid properly diluted. The idea is wash hot soap and water 20 seconds we all heard that and use a nail brush get in under those nails and around those cuticles the more you wash off your hands the safer you will be now if you're using disinfecting sprays and this one i picked up at walgreens on friday so there are things to be had out there but in order to disinfect you cannot spray and wipe it does nothing you must spray the surface and leave it wet for five to ten minutes now why because it has to get in to that envelope that surrounds the coronavirus to destroy it the envelope is what allows the virus to spread and reproduce so we want to get through that that's what disinfecting does now what else can you use? And I know you're going to say there's not many of these out there, but I did actually buy this the other day. So hydrogen peroxide, 3%. It's one of the best disinfectants. And all you're going to do on hard surfaces, spray it on, walk away. You can even let it dry on there. The one thing you don't do is wipe it off. Rubbing alcohol, 70%, 91%, same thing. Spray it on, do not wipe it off. And I wanna to talk to you about bleach. Now, bleach is a great disinfectant. Normally, I don't recommend it a lot because it is more of a chemical base, but in this case, it's great. You can do a gallon of water and one third cup of chlorine bleach, or you can do a quart of water and four teaspoons of chlorine bleach. You will spray that on, let it sit, and you will wipe it off. Now, make sure you're wearing gloves when you're using bleach. You know how caustic it is. If you're spraying it on metal, for a short term, that's fine, but it can be corrosive, so be careful with that. Now, another thing that I just want to ask you is if you have two or three gallons of chlorine bleach at home, how about sharing some of that with your neighbors? It only takes four teaspoons to make a quart of sanitizer and disinfectant. And if we all disinfect, if we all share, we'll all stay safe and healthy. So share with your neighbors and let's keep everybody safe. Now, if you missed any of this, go to my website, queenofclean.com, azfamily.com, has it on their website, and we'll all work through this together. So guys, thanks so much for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. <laughs> we well, need your advice. We know your house yeah. is clean, Queen. Thank you. Thanks, Linda.